This video and others like it are funded by viewers like you. Thanks for your support. Okay, guys and gals, it is Tuesday News Day. Definitely better than the news I put out before. Let's jump into it. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, erasing borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. You're watching DC Born Rob Racing Borders. I'm DC Rob. Again, it is Tuesday. New Hopefully, you're seeing this on Tuesday. You never know when I'm recording these. You never know when I'm running them because sometimes they get hemmed up via YouTube's checkmark system. But anyway, I have better news than before. So let's just jump into the first one. The first one is a follow-up on the Uber overcharging from the last news program. Let's jump into it. The police in Medellin located an Uber driver who had charged two Canadian tourists nearly 3 million pesos for a trip to the Jose Maria Cordoba airport. The driver had initially charged the tourists 285,000, but deceitfully added an extra zero, turning the amount into 2,850,000 pesos. After the media highlighted the case, the authorities swiftly located the driver and the tour. The driver expressed his intention to return the overcharged amount, explaining that he had been hesitant to return the money earlier due to the distrust of the contact number provided. The police facilitated the return of the funds to the tours. The tourists expressed their gratitude to the Medellin police for their exceptional effort, stating, We thank the Medellin police for their incredible effort and in helping us with the returns of our funds. Thanks to their efforts, we were able to rectify the discrepancies with the driver. Without their help, this would have been a very disappointing end to a once-in-a-lifetime experience. We had a great time in Medellin and can't wait to return to this beautiful country. The police advised citizens to verify receipt and avoid making transactions to unknown accounts. They emphasized the importance of reporting theft or fraud by contacting the single line one, two, three. Okay, let's jump to Watape from Medellin. Reckless foreigner. Police saved a Colombian Canadian from drowning in Watape. Authorities rescued a Colombian Canadian who decided to swim in the dangerous waters of the reservoir. The joke almost cost him life. According to the report of the case published by the local media, a Colombian Canadian citizen in a high degree of exaltation decided to jump into these dense waters of the artificial lake that bordered the recreational property of the La Piedra village where they were located. The man would not have been able to get out on his own, so he was at risk of drowning. Fortunately, there were apparently a police river patrol in the area, which upon seeing the man floating, prepared to rescue him. After the intervention of the police, the man was able to be saved. Even so, firefighters took him to the local hospital where he is out of danger so far. The authorities and the local fire department urged visitors and tourists to the reservoir to avoid submerging themselves in the waters of the lagoon during their stay in Watape, since this, due to its characteristics, and the mud in houses, it's not suitable for swimming. Let's jump back to Medellin. This is the not so good one, but it's uh, uh, an update. There are 40 foreigners on the blacklist due to alerts of alleged S crime. Three have already been returned in four days. In just four days, three foreign tourists were expelled from Colombia after being identified as potential threats due to alleged involvement in S crime. These individuals, an Australian and two Americans, were part of the database of about 40 problematic foreigners compiled by the mayor's office of Medellin. This tool enables Migración Colombia to deny entry to such individuals. The mayor's office of Medellin, under Mayor Federico Gutierrez, had been advocating for stricter measures against bad tourists who disrupt public order and coexistence. The expelled Australian Charlie Hardy was previously caught soliciting S services in Medellin's Yetis Park. The other two individuals were flagged through an international database in cooperation with agencies like Interpol and the United States Angel Watch System, which tracked S offenders. Mayor Gutierrez highlighted the importance of this strategy in preventing problematic tourists from entering the country. He emphasized that while the list includes S predators, it also contains individuals whose behavior negatively impacts public order. Gutierrez criticized the previous administration for its inaction on issues like S exploitation in Medellin and stressed the need for respect and adherence to local laws by visitors. Okay, 
I have a couple more and gives you something to do while you're in Medellin other than running around Parque. Yeah, things to do in Medellin, okay? This is number one. El Tesoro Commercial Park in Medellin is hosting an immersive experience called La Selva until July 14th, aiming to raise environmental awareness. This project, managed by Local Lab, involves a geodesic dome with a projection canvas inside a straw interior resembling a hut. The experience showcases the biodiversity of tropical humid forests, focusing on species from the Amazon and Choco region. The selection process for species highlighted common jungle inhabitants like jaguars, macaws, and anacondas, along with lesser known yet vital creatures like the pink dolphin, harlequin frog, dart frog, and thunder bear. Various plant species, including fungi like the zombie fungus, are also featured. The goal is to connect urban dwellers with the jungle's beauty and emphasize the importance of conservation. Scientific advice from biologists and researchers ensure accuracy in depicting the ecosystems. The script crafted by Mauricio Abad emphasizes the symbiotic relationship between the jungle's health and the global well-being. Attendees are encouraged to learn, reflect, and make eco-conscious decisions to combat deforestation and preserve Earth's biodiversity. So this is a good one. Would I go if I was there? Yeah. And I will go when I get to still there. It looked pretty cool to lay back, you know, the little bean seat, bean bag seats where you can lay back and look at, I guess, like a planetarium. Uh, one more story. Lastly, more things to do in Medellin, Colombia. The new graffiti route in Medellin passes through Santo Domingo, Sabio. Have you traveled on it yet? Well, the Urban Museum of Memories in Medellin, Santo Domingo, Salvio, recently underwent renovations with 50 new graffiti and mural, depicting the history and culture of Communa 1. This initiative, which started nearly six years ago, showcases the neighborhood evolution from a tumultuous past to becoming a vibrant hub of art and community tourism. The museum's three galleries named Mitia Teratirio, La Independiente, and other voices feature murals that honor local heroes, highlight themes of freedom and independence, and celebrate the unique characteristics of Santo Domingo. Artists like Brick J, with decades of experience, contribute to this cultural narrative, recalling the challenges faced by early graffiti artists and the transformation of the community walls into artistic canvases. The museum's mission goes beyond preserving memories. It has become a catalyst for community tourism, empowering local businesses and offering visitors to authenticate experience. It has become a catalyst for community tourism, empowering local businesses and offering visitors an authentic experience away from the commercialized tourist circuit. Tourists, both local and international, are drawn to Santo Domingo's rich history, diverse art scene, and genuine neighborhood atmosphere, making it a valuable cultural destination in Medellin, Colombia. So there you go. This news is definitely better than the last one, so I was kind of looking forward to uh, putting it out. It just took a little more research. So thank you for everybody who's passing on the stories. Uh, I think I just jumped on this one because uh, yesterday just wasn't so good. I had to pass on something that was even a little bit better and give you something to do. Some of these stories, as you can see, like the graffiti tour, has been growing over the past few years. And since I've been doing this for five years, I have a few other stories on subjects such as this. To give you guys something else to do, there was a, a paraglider that did a fall. I think they said 40 meters. So while that's my favorite thing to do in Medellin, paragliding, uh, it is dangerous. It is dangerous. So just know that. But there's many more things to do. Make sure you reach out to Andres, who is my guide there and my guide for airport pickups and drop off. But everybody who knows him and knows my dentist, Dr. Maori knows that these guys are class acts. If I put my name on it, trust me, I'm particular about that. So you can trust both of these guys. So if you're there, make sure you do some tours. Take some tours. Get up to my charity. Please, please, uh, donate the money while you're up there, too. Give back more than just partieres. Okay, anyway, off my high hook. Uh, so we're going to uh, end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to travel, but travel safe. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Okay, hold, hold, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. 
right quick. If you need to have things shipped to Colombia, shipped to someone else, or shipped to yourself to Colombia from the United States, make sure you reach out to CaribbeanShipper.com. CaribbeanShipper.com. The contact information is coming next. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob Official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob Official One on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you say so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. Headed to Medellin, Colombia? See my guy Andres with Nomad Travel for safe airport pickups and drop-offs and tours. Contact information in the description below. If you're in Medellin and you need dental work done, from a basic cleaning to major reconstructive surgery, come see my guy, Dr. Carlos Mori. Contact information in the description below. Thanks for hitting like. You did the right thing by hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. Thanks for hitting like. This is Born Rob.